I'm Ty Quinones, and right now on your 13 Action News update, well, Governor Steve Sisolak right now is standing by the local Jewish community after the tragic hostage situation that happened in Texas. Well, today, Sisolak presented a proclamation in solidarity with the Jewish community at Jewish Nevada's annual meeting. Well, he said that people, regardless of faith, should not have to live in fear for their life based on their religion. Well, the new 5G technology that worries airlines won't be near our airport. Harry Reid International Airport is among dozens of airports where the FAA right now is putting in a so-called buffer zone. It is to limit potential interruption to airport operations. Well, Verizon and AT&T right now are holding off on rolling out the updated 5G service. The new service was scheduled to start tomorrow. Airline officials are afraid the 5G signals could interfere with the technology that helps pilots see how far off the ground they are. Well, for the very first time ever, the Grammys are now coming to Las Vegas. The Grammy Awards will now be held on the Strip on Sunday, April 3rd. It's going to be at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. The Daily Show host Trevor Noah will be the MC. The original ceremony was set to be in Los Angeles. We're told the move to Las Vegas is happening due to the COVID impact in L.A. Back to the 60s on Wednesday after highs were capped in the upper 50s Tuesday with the cloudy start, the wet start. Much different story on Wednesday with a sunny sky, calm conditions and really comfortable temperatures. But the nice afternoon comes after a cold start to the day. Our lows will be in the upper 30s and low 40s Wednesday morning before climbing close to 60 by midday and topping out in the low 60s. Uh, nice conditions stick with us through the weekend, but we do expect a breezy wind to pick back up Thursday into Friday. Gustiest conditions on Friday before the wind settles down again this weekend. Looks pretty good, Danny. Thank you. That was your 13 Action News update. Remember, you can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.